I'm Gauri and I'm back with an another video. So as the title suggests, I'll be doing a book haul video. Actually, I was meaning to do a book unboxing video, but utna patience nahi hai. Maybe next time. So all the prices and names of the book, I will link it down below in the description box, so you can check that out as well. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first book is Life is What You Make It by Preeti Shanoi. Preeti Shanoi is my favorite Indian author. So I have read this book long back. I don't remember when, but yeah, I do remember that this book had a shift in my thinking about life. So um, this book is a gem. It explains about bipolar disorder so beautifully. Uh, those extreme highs and lows in the disorder is very well explained. A very beautiful message has been given in this book is that um, apart from those cues and those mood disorders, what actually matters is that you still have a life and no matter what you have to accept your imperfections you have to make peace with your disorders and ultimately life is what you make it so the reason to buy this book was uh, that it is only for 64 rupees and the actual price is 150 second book is when love came calling by Preeti Shanoi So I have already finished uh, reading this book and it is written in Preeti Shanoi's iconic style. So if you have read Preeti Shanoi's book, you will notice two things in her book. First is that there will be Kerala so beautifully explained. Second is there are always strict parents. So, so anyways, this book is about a guy named Arush who is born and brought up in UK and who gets an opportunity to visit India to volunteer in a NGO named Ashwati Bhavan which is in Vainat in Kerala and so he grabs this opportunity and this is the first time he visits India and on the other hand we have Pooja who is a real troublemaker she is a spoiled brat and who is forced to volunteer in the same NGO so, so they meet there and spend their time together and their love flourishes but however some misunderstandings happen and Arush starts doubting their relationship so this book is not only about romance but it also tells with the importance of parenting and one of my favorite part about this book is that it is about traveling and finding yourself so uh, this book was for 199 rupees and i got it for 99 rupees only so the third book is milk and honey by rupee kaur So this book is a collection of prose and poetry about survival. Uh, this is my first poetry book and the reason to buy this book was that a couple of years back I had read this very beautiful poetry or prose, I don't know what it is called, on Pinterest but back then I didn't knew the name of this book but now that I do so I just got it and it was for only 274 rupees and the actual price is 499 rupees. And I'll read that uh, prose or poem, whatever it is called for you. If you were born with the weakness to fall, you were born with the strength to rise. So the fourth book is uh, 12 Commandments of Being a Woman by Taira Kashyap Khurana. So this book was quite a sensation on Insta as many celebs died from Shilpa Shetty, Bhumi Pendekar, Tapsi Pannu, Prajakta Kohli have posted about this book. So in this book, the author Taira Kashyap Khurana talks about her life experiences in a very funny and wittier way. So if you have read or are reading any deep life changing book and your brain needs to take a chill pill for a while then definitely go for this book. Your brain will thank you later. So this book was for 299 rupees and I got it for 129 rupees only. Fifth book is Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. So 
सो दिस बुक इज अ क्लासिक गॉथिक बुक अबाउट अ साइंटिस्ट निम विक्टर फ्रेंकिस्टाइन हु क्रिएट्स अ मॉन्स्टर विच बेसिकली हैज नो नेम्स सो सो ही बिलीव दैट इज साइंटिफिक डिस्कवरी वी नीड टू फर्दर एडवांसेस इन साइंस एंड uh he eventually succeeds in bringing his creation to life uh, but things don't go as expected and some awful events happen so uh, th- uh so this book was for 1 for uh, 199 rupees and i got it for 68 rupees sixth book is the subtle art of not giving a fuck by mark manson well i already had this book before but as you can see this is pirated copy so i decided to buy a new one so this book was for 499 rupees and i got it for 100 and so this is a non fiction book and well i have not read this book but all i can say is that in today's world we all emphasize on let's all feel good mindset but eventually what happens is all we land up in sadness and uh, it is illusionment so the author mark manson explains that we need to accept our imperfections we need to embrace our fears faults uh and instead of running and avoiding situations we need to uh, accept the reality those painful realities and that is the only way which will lead to the path of courage and forgiveness so seventh book is everything is fucked by the same author mark manson i have no clue what this book is about i just randomly bought it so its original price was 499 rupees and i got it for 249 rupees The eighth book is Ikigai, the Japanese secret to long and happy life. Yet another book in the non-fiction genre. So Ikigai is a Japanese word for the reason to leave or the reason to jump off the bed in the morning. So this book helps us to find our Ikigai, uh, that passion uh, which drives us to success. And this book was. So this book was for four ninety nine rupees, and I got it for two forty nine rupees. Ninth book is Man's Search for Meaning by Victor Frankl. So this book is everyone should read uh, once in their life. a uh, category uh, so it is a classic book uh, the author victor frankl uh, was a holocaust survivor and uh, this book is divided into three parts as the first part is about the uh, author's uh, experience in the concentration camp the second part is about logotherapy um, and the third so second part is about logotherapy and the third part is actually what he means by life and the third part is actually what he means by man search for meaning been referred in attitude is everything by jeff keller uh, and also in ikigai you get to see one page about logotherapy but in this book you will get a complete uh, explanation about it this book was for 299 rupees and i got it for 126 rupees the 10th book is good wives good life by wax king so this is a ultimate self help book which almost covers every aspect of life and the best part about this book is that it is written in such a way that anyone can understand it and also i'll suggest you to read this book very slowly what i do is i read one chapter every morning and it just kick starts your day in a positive way so this book was for rupees 399 and i got it for 152 rupees uh, i have been wanting to read this book for so long uh, so it again comes in the self help category so it's about developing positive attitude in your personal and professional life and uh, and uh, how to change your wrong attitude so it was for 199 rupees and i got it for 85 rupees on